what up dudes so we got all kinds of good news and bad news and okay news and just lots of stuff to talk about since I haven't made a video in a long time. Just for starters, to get uh, one thing out of the way, I haven't made a video in a while because I've been really busy. Part of the good news is that I got a new job. I finally left my coffee shop job and I somehow, by the graces of the universe, I now work at a motorcycle shop. It's a place called the Vintage Monkey and they specialize in classic and vintage motorcycles. So if you're ever in Sacramento, California, definitely stop by, say hello, check out the place because it's super awesome. So that alone has taken up a lot of my time and uh, definitely dramatically changed my life and my routines. And I really just spent these last couple of weeks adjusting. So if you guys just uh, give me some time and um, I'll be able to figure out a new schedule for coming out with videos and hopefully continue Wasteland Wednesdays or at least something similar as I continue to work on the Bandit. As far as making videos on this thing, I already have quite a few things planned out. Custom stuff that I want to do to it. I have some of the materials that I need to do this custom work. There's only a few hang-ups that I have right now. If you guys follow me on Instagram, um, at KillSwitchQueen, you'll see some of the behind-the-scenes stuff. And the last thing I posted was that I did the fork seals and everything turned out great except one of the fork tubes had a dent in it. Fortunately, on the right fork leg, I have a terrible fork oil leak. For the life of me, I can't remember which leg had the dent in it. <laughs> so before I go ordering a whole new fork tube, which is a pain in the butt to find used, I've gone ahead and ordered uh, new uh, bushings for the inside, a new seal, um, just in case it is not dented, maybe I just didn't seat the seal properly. I want to weigh out my cheaper options first before I go ahead and order a whole new fork leg. The one thing with my builds that I want to continue to do is that I'm always going to do everything as cheaply as possible. And that's what I really do about wrap bikes is that I, it's the opposite end of custom work is that people can spend thousands of dollars making this really cool awesome motorcycle and I, I find that really awesome too that is cool but I like making rat bikes with the least amount of money as cheaply as I can possibly do it so that is my biggest holdup at the moment um, I, I want to make some more like a moto vlogging style of videos actually riding the bandit because this thing is just a hoot to ride. It's a blast. I really appreciate you guys. I have so many new subscribers uh, in the last month. And I'm not sure what videos are drawing more people in because I know I have some more popular videos that I feel are not necessarily the reflection of the kind of videos that I really enjoy making or you know that I'm gonna end up making uh, from now on in the future. I like making funny stuff too. I don't know how much more I'm gonna be able to squeeze in um, in the time that I have as opposed to uh, doing some of the custom stuff I want to do and doing more like rap like stuff. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing and uh, doing all that cool stuff. I'm gonna stay as active as I can and try and balance out my time and my personal time that I have uh, between uh, work and working on my motorcycle and also trying to record and edit videos for you guys. If you guys like the Sportster build, I want to do the Bandit 10 times better than that. I want to take what I've learned from the Sportster and apply it to the Bandit and do everything way better than you guys have seen before. So thanks for subscribing, thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned if you want to see more videos of the Bandit and uh, more of uh, my uh, greasy, gross mug. <laughs> if anyone's got a Bandit fork tube, 2001 to 2005, 43 millimeter fork tube laying around that they don't want anymore, I'll, I'll shoot you some cash for that because uh, I'm definitely on the lookout for that. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys. I'll see you in the next one.